New at 11, a beloved family pet is struck and killed. Tonight, the search continues for the driver behind it. Meantime, neighbors that live along that Durham County Road say they're not surprised. CBS 17's Amy Cutler live at the sheriff's office. And Amy, any leads on the driver? Not really at this point, Marius. The Durham County Sheriff's Office tells us they are investigating. In this case, the beloved family pet is a horse, and the owner tells me she's heartbroken. So we immediately had a connection and clicked. This was Pompeii, an Arabian mare Genevieve Burbridge has owned for five years. She quickly became a member of the family. Very spirited, very sweet. A lot of times if I had a bad day, if I went out to sit with her, she could tell and she would often come over and put her, her head on top of mine. Burbridge didn't have much experience as an equestrian, so when she took her out for a walk, she'd often ride her bike in front of her. That's what she was doing Saturday. The accident happened behind me, so I didn't see the car um, directly coming. There was an enormous crash behind me. Um, it was the sound of, uh, turns out, my horse being hit. It happened around 9 at night on North Willowhaven Drive in Durham County. The driver never stopped. Pompeii seriously injured, her leg broken. She fell into a ditch. They called every vet they could think of, but there was nothing they could do. Pompeii needed to be euthanized. I just spent those two hours in the ditch with her, laying with her, um, and just trying to, you know, through the pain, comfort her. The sheriff's office now investigating. Neighbors say they're not surprised by what took place because drivers frequently speed. It's scary with there's a lot of kids, dogs, people walking on the road here. Andy Waldrop's wife says she petitioned the county. The speed limit lowered from 35 miles per hour to 25, but they say it hasn't helped. Hopefully something can be done. We don't want to see anyone hurt. Now, Burbridge tells me that she forgives the driver but still doesn't understand why that person didn't stop. Investigators here at the sheriff's office are asking anyone with information to give them a call. Live in Durham, Amy Cutler, CBS 17 News.